Oh, watch out for lunch, man. Did you have something good? Who's this guy? What you want? You what you okay? want? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Oh, check it. You can't go wrong with checking, mate. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremy. You can't Combs. remember this guy. Comps instead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they, they. take? My whole life. They took a whole way of living a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here. Living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only. I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. What? He reminds me of um old pistol. That guy, the old guy from Ghost Rider. Ledger. Where's this Can't house? His again? Name. Compson Stead. A... North of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Hmm. Right then, let's have a look at our map. Let's go and do uh, Jeremiah's mission, eh? Let's uh, let's have a go at that. It's always good to do the side quest because then you don't miss any if you like hey, progress you the story too far, you know. Oh wait, there. Let me brush the pony. Brush. There we go. Feed. Let's give him some grub. Let's have a look at Jeremiah's mission. Yep. Hopefully it's uh, it's not a stealth one. So I'm not very good at stealth games. But I'm all right. You know, like games like Dishonored and like Metal Gear and whatnot. But games like this, I don't really want to do stealth in, you know? This is for like being like a bulls out cowboy. Dude, the way the moon like shines off the grass is so cool. Oh, wild pigs, wild boars, whatever. Is this the house? No. Oh, we were just here. Just here. Right, okay. Let's uh let's see if we can kick the door in. Ledger, watch, pistol. Kentucky Bourbon. Okay. Um Stitch cabinet. But he doesn't need tins of beans and whatnot, does he? You know? This is very last of us, like this house. 
It reminds April me of April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. Aww. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Oh man. That's sad. Oh, antique pocket watch. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pist. Oh, we can't take any smokes. Can we smoke some smokes, though? Uh, premium cigarettes. Let's have a smoke. Fill up that dead eye a bit. We're gonna take these ones. Okay. Where's all this old crap? Is that it? Inspect. It's a letter, not a ledger. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from Wait, customers and fellow up. employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Oh. I wonder what he did. Ah, uh, trap door, huh? Ah. Okay. <laughs> what you doing here? Oh, we found you this weirdo. place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. What a fucking weird that pig. Old revolver yours. <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah, son of a bitch! God damn it. damn it! Come on, Dan! Where are you going? Come on! God damn you! You ain't sticking shit. Let's loot him. Let's get a, a really shitty hat. Right, where's this pistol then? Oh, it's over there. Take the pistol. Now let's get in that trap door, mate. Let's see what, he, see what he's got down there. Well, that'll be the pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. Loot. Loot. Thank you. Thank you kindly. How do I open this? Open. What the hell is he gonna have in the basement, man? Shit. What the fuck's he been keeping down here? Weirdo. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. Okay. God. 
Right, so this is the ledger. What has he been writing in here, then? This your ledger? A list of slaves? What a piece uh, of shit. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, Dude. $20. I reckon we should fucking kill him. I reckon we should kill him. Hey, welcome back, Jello. We were out here trying to help this old man get his stuff back, and it turns out he was like selling slaves. Like, what the fuck? What a piece of shit. That door's locked. Oh. Another letter. What's this one all about? Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come Princess by for Donuts? A what are they, Jello? That sound good. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. I think this guy could be a real piece of shit. Real piece of shit. Oh, no way. Why? What, what are they doing, dude? They put in like, um, like new plugs and stuff in? Or? Yeah. Ah, right. Okay. I thought you just turned off just to aggravate you. That's something I do. I'm a piece of shit. Oh, we need to jump over obstacles. There's never really many obstacles to jump over, though, right? Oh, that's not so bad then, dude. This is a reason for it, you know? Not just because. You know what I mean? This is going to be a, an interesting interaction. Oh, perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It's all... It's all going to hell. Oh, man. Oh, man. Interesting interaction. You sh show some respect. Oh, God, Jello. <laughs> I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman what about this old crap huh my things don't you understand those bastards they changed everything i was a good worker i took pride in my work they they, they took it away pissed on my legacy oh man some jobs ain't for saving and some legacies oh they are for what, pissing what, what are you doing that's that's my history Cut him his own gun, Arthur. God. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Oh. Dude. I don't know if there's a part three. Like, so I don't know if I want to kill him just yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to kill him just yet, just in case it's a part three, because we don't want to miss out on on lore and, and whatnot, right? Dude, this Albert Mason, man, he's a very needy little chap. You know what I mean? We'll go and see him. Like I said, we'll try and do the side quests that we can because
I don't know, is that count as three? Easy now. Yeah, it does. Oh, we need to go down there. Oh. Down this way. Oh, nice one, dude. That sounds pretty good. Ride from Valentine to Rogues in less than five minutes. That could be a that could be a mission for another day. Dude, Red Dead Two is huge, right? Absolutely huge. There's a video up on the YouTube of like this incest woman we found last night. Really fucking freaky. Yeah, no worries, dude. Get that tea in you, man. Alright, what's wrong with you? You okay, mister? Please. I've been oh, suck up the poison. I need medicine. Uh, oh, I need to suck them in oh. <sighs> okay. Uh, I love spending my Saturday afternoon sucking on strangers. Uh, not a word to anyone. You know I mean? I owe you one, mister. Hopefully, I could repay you. Hey, our, our karma's going up. Right. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. You love to see it. What is Albert Mason taking pictures of out here? Crocodiles? Alligators? Like, what the hell? It's so beautiful, oh man. The lighting, there's, there's nothing like it. Absolutely nothing like it. Two arrows to the head, and he just runs off. I don't know how I feel about this. Just taking pictures of. They creep up on you, you know. Huh? Oh, Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know Don't that in the last up. 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. You carry on shooting from oh, that no. bank, you're going to wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. The 10 percent have survived. They're the nasty ones. <laughs> All right then. Um, oh, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. God. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Close, but not too close, right? To be fair, you want to be in another city to an alligator, right? So they just fuck you up. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamp. Oh, look! At that little beach. Boars! 
we're in luck. An alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. The <laughs> pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. Oh. Oh my god. In all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um. That is cool, I'm not gonna lie. Or due west. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer. Chugged up the waterways and turned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle state, huh? Oh, is that Why one over there on the bank? Think of that? Pretty sure that is. <laughs> yes, yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah, could you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. Oh, we stopped too long. Locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please. What? He's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermy. Well. Maybe I want this oh, he's awake. He's awake. Here, Run away. Quick, jump in the boat. In, 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 in. Uh, he won't get in. Got him. What a specimen. Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you. Why, why, why won't you get in? Uh, what? Oh my god. Southeast, good man. You have a final spot to check. 17 feet, 19 job that, feet, 21 feet. Good job that one went too aggressive, man. Head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20 foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12 foot skiff? No. This is in the <laughs> 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. Ain't shame to this rowing fool. Who values his arms oh, being attached one. to his body? Right, right. There, in the cane rake. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. Yes, it... Excellent. Beast in repose. All is calm as the predator lurks. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. <clears throat> Take us back where we began. Anyway. I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, sure. I hope the you don't come after us. He's a big one. Beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Oh, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. Let's get the hell off this boat. We wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. So the backdrop chomped. Jaw dropping. Get in the boat. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well. I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. Yeah. Dude, I love this.